In the back paddock here with driver Todd McCarthy, who is looking to have a stellar weekend. You have a uh, strong lineup here. We'll ask you about a few of them. And coming up in race six, the two-year-old Philly Trot final, you had your choice of the two runners up. You did stick with the perfect Annie for trainer Carter Pinsky. She just got snapped at her the last time out. What was your impressions on her elimination? Um, I thought she raced good, you know, um, we, we turned into a little bit of a sprint home and I think we just got out sprinted there, but um, no, I'm sure she'll bounce back well from that and she'll uh, be fresh going into this week. We've seen her win on the front end and from off the pace uh, with an outside draw here tonight. Will you be looking for a helmet to follow or just try to get involved as early as possible? Uh, her usual style is um, if we can try to get her involved, she's pretty good like that, but um, there's a bunch of nice fillies in there, so we'll just have to see what the pace, the tempo is like out of the gate there and we'll play by you. The two-year-old Cold Trot, I'm sure a lot of people are waiting to hear your impressions on Go Dog Go, another Carter, Carter Pinsky trainee. Uh, talk about his elimination. What were your impressions with adding the trotting hobbles? Did he uh, feel more comfortable coming down the stretch and not to giving you that sign of uh, what he did down at the Red Mile? Yeah, definitely. Uh, but um, no, he, he was really good here last start, so hopefully he carries that through again. Um, I was really happy with him. We, you know, he, he was still pretty green at the Red Mile and got into some bad habits there, so... Um, coming to the new track too, I'm sure it's really helped him and, and Carter's done a great job getting him back. Do you have the confidence that you can be a little aggressive with him from post seven regarding how well he responded to the hobbles last week? Yeah, one of the, again, one of them situations, we'll just see what the tempo looks like early and um, try to play that one by year too. And I'll ask you about a few coming up tomorrow night in the three-year-old uh, Philly Pace. You stuck with direction over the Alim winner, Disney. Uh, she's been sensational all year round, all year long. Uh, what were your impressions on her elimination? Loaded with pace down by the wire. You just couldn't really never shake free. No, she uh, she was boxed in there, and that was a pretty tough pick. Uh, Disney was so impressive in her elimination. So, um, But direction, she's been good all year as well. So um, that, that was a tough pick, but lucky for me, it was the uh, same trainer and, uh, and connections there. So it, was, it was, uh, wasn't any drama in that pick. And Captain Albano, he uh, took a little bit of time off after the two heats in Delaware, had a sharp qualifier and looked ultra impressive on the front end in his elimination. Yeah, really happy with him. Um, the way that he did that there last week, I thought that was super impressive. So uh, he's just a fun little horse to drive and uh, looking forward to getting behind him again tomorrow night. Toddy, thanks for taking some time out of your busy night to uh, chat with me here and best of luck the rest of the weekend. Oh, thanks, Jenna. I appreciate it.